Shenmue's flute. It was made out of wood from the Shenmue tree, wasn't it? What's this? A medical... Sunflower seeds? What are they doing here? Good morning, Liu. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liu? We should get ready to go. Okay. Let's get moving. Hey, um... What is it, Liu? We should get ready to go. Got it. Let's get moving. It smells good. I'd better get to the village. What is it? We should get... Okay. We can talk... I'd better get to the village. Your house is pretty far from the village, huh, Shenhua? Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Is there a reason for that? The quarry could be one. Sorry? The quarry. 
It's a special one that even I'm not allowed to enter. Ah. So, your house is there to protect it? Yes, I believe so. Father didn't tell me anything about it, though. I see. Do you know what the dragon and phoenix in the quarry were for? No, I don't. But your father carved them, right? Yes, he must have. He wasn't alone, though. What do you mean by that? They must have taken generations to complete. So, you think your grandfather worked on them, too? Yes, possibly even further back than that. Have you heard any stories about them? Not a single one. My father always said he'd tell me when I got older. Then, how do you know it has so much history? Well, everyone in the village has history. The villagers? Yes. Generations of stonemasons, hunters, and farmers have all lived here. The same goes for the cattle wranglers. They've been here for ages. Oh, yeah? That's just how things work here. Is this a dojo? That's right. This is Marshall Hall. It's been here for ages. Marshall Hall? Long ago, many great martial artists traveled here, from all over the world. But no one comes here nowadays. Is that so? Ryo, you should come here to practice when you have time. Is that... Okay. Of course. Our doors are open to everyone that comes here looking to master the martial arts. Are you a new trainee? Sorry? Hmm, you're Japanese. I am. The people of Bailu Village have trained here for centuries. It has history. Did you say centuries? You would do well to train here if you have lost sight of the path. You can polish your techniques. So you'll let me train here? Not only that, I'll let you prove yourself by fighting the monks here. You're on. A fight? Very well. Your first opponent shall be Red Tiger. He is our least skilled monk, but do not underestimate him. Don't make me laugh. 
What say you? Will you join us? Yes, absolutely. Very well. What is your name? Ryo, Hazuki. I shall have a name tag prepared for you. You will start from the lowest rank. Rank? Yes. You must fight and defeat someone above your rank in order to move up. You must train day in and day out to improve your kung fu. Whose shop is that? Over the bridge. Oh, it belongs to Uncle Tao. Uncle Tao, huh? Yes, people can get anything they need from his shop. I see. Leo, did you pack anything to eat? Why do you ask? Well, you can't run on an empty stomach. That's a very good point. Be sure to keep a little something on hand in case you get hungry later. A lot of places in the village sell food, too. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Leo, the herb. This is... It's licorice. You can make Chinese medicine with it. So, you can turn this into medicine, huh? Not just this. There are lots of herbs growing in Bailu. Where do they grow? They're all over the place, but you have to really look for them. Oh, really? There should be special maps at Uncle Tao's shop. Someone actually made maps? Yes, if you find enough to make some medicine. Uncle Tao will buy them from you. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Hello? Uh. I'm going to lose sight of Shenhua. I'd better hurry.
I would like to know. What's the tall tower just past the village square? Ah, uh, yes. That's the bell tower. What is it for? We ring the bell if there's a fire in the mountains, or if something dangerous is encroaching on the village. Is that why it's so tall? Precisely. It's also a useful landmark, because you can see it from anywhere in the village. That's handy. So you can find your way back to the square? If you head for the bell tower? That's right. I'll have to keep that in mind. Excuse me. Oh, hey kid. What do you want? Have you come to apprentice under me? Oh, nothing. You're a beginner, right? You have a name? Ryo Hazuki. Well, Ryo, it's your lucky day. Fear not, for I am the great Suza Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. What? You don't think I've got what it takes? That's not what I. Then let me show you what I've got. Fight me, right now. Oh, man. Look, I'm not opposed, but. It's too late now, R It was Rio, right? Thanks for that. Well, how's it feel? Pretty nice to train with a master like me, isn't it? Hmm? Uh, sure. Come by any time. I'm always up for a fight. Excuse me. Not from around here, are you? You're a Fung. This is a friend of mine. Um. Is that right? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? Word has it they showed up at the Wong household. But Wen's lips are sealed. Maybe she'd open up to you. It's worth a shot. Thank you very much. Just be careful, okay? She'd be heartbroken if anything were to happen to you. Huh? Who would be heartbroken? Shenhua, that's who! 
Actually, I... Oh dear. There I go running my mouth again. <laughs> okay then. Hi there. Is Wong Wen around? There's something I'd like to ask Wang Wen. She's not around? I was just talking to her. I see. She said something about going shopping, so maybe she already left for Taoget. Got it. Thanks. Excuse me. Huh? What is it? Hello, one. Senhua! This is my friend, Yo. Oh, really? Your friend? I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? One. Did the thugs show up here? That they did. But my husband drove them off. He's really good to have around in times like these. What did they want? That's what I'd like to know. They kept hollering something about wanting to meet the stonemason. I was inside and didn't see anything. My husband told me about it after it was over. I see. Let's talk to Shiren, one's husband. Good idea. Thanks again. Thanks, one. Hi there. What is it, Ryo? I'd like to talk to your husband. Is he still working? He's on watch duty at the Verdant Bridge this time of day. I see. Thanks, one. something before I fall over. Hello, Leo. Da Tong. What's with the two of you? Is Wong Shiren around? I'd like to talk to Shiren. He left to patrol Long Weishan. It's up ahead. You'll see signs for it. I see. Looks like I can practice horse dance here. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Horse dance, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot.
should I keep going? I'll save it for later. I could practice my one-inch punch. Sure, I'll give it a shot. One-inch punch. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll practice some more. Never mind. Excuse me. What do you want? What are you two doing here? Uh, there's something I want to ask. I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? Did you see two of them the other night? Yeah, a big man with long hair, and a man with a shaved head and a spider tattoo. Tell me more. They barged in during the middle of the night when I was sleeping. They kept yelling this and that about a stonemason. I told them they had the wrong house and drove them off. Then I went right back to bed. Is there anybody else? Do you know where they went after that? That I don't know. But I do know that there were other witnesses. A man I met at the bar was talking about it. He was a bookie with a scar on his face. What kind of scar? A big one. On his cheek. We should talk to him, Leon. Yes. Let's go find him. Excuse me. What do you... Where's the bookie with us? I don't really remember much about him. <laughs> I see. I've got no business here. I should head back. Hey, Shenhua. Yeah? I think we should split up and look for the bookie. I'll search from here to the village square. You go from the village square to the next settlement. Got it. I'll see you later. Yeah.
I need help with something. What do you want? Do you know a bookie with a scar on his face? There's a place over there, but I don't know what the bookie looks like. Why don't you go look for yourself? Okay, thanks. Excuse me. Hey there, lad. Hop. A scarred face. This must be the guy. Huh? You say something? There's something I want to ask. So what? You're not here to play? I'm looking for someone who's seen those thugs. Oh, yeah, that guy. Where can I find him? I'll tell you after we play. Okay. Uh, lately, I'm not as good as I used to be. Why don't we let our throws do the talking? A challenge, huh? Yeah. Beat me, and I'll tell you. Let's do this. That's kind of you. Okay, my memory's been jogged a bit. <laughs> I'm looking for someone who's seen the thugs. Oh, yeah, those thugs. I heard they gave the bookie running the flower, bird, wind, and moon games some trouble. And the bookie is? I've only seen him when out drinking. Have no idea where he'd be now. More games. Mm -hmm. 